Do you want to get the inside scoop on how Google views your website? Or maybe you want to be able to, to submit new blog posts and new pages to Google so that they start showing up in search results. If that's the case, then you're definitely going to want to sign up for Google Search Console. Don't worry, it's free and it's easy, and I'm walking you through the entire process in this video. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com where I help you figure out the DIY solutions for website tech and SEO. Today in this video, I'm showing you how to sign up for Google Search Console, how to verify your website on there, and how to connect Google Search Console with Google Analytics. All right. Let's get started. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to sign up for Google Search Console if you are not already signed up yet. So this is a free tool. So you're just going to Google, Google Search Console, or I can leave the link to this in the steps that I've outlined. So go ahead and click on that. And we're gonna click the Start Now button. And it's gonna have you sign in to your Google account. Now this is important. You wanna make sure that you're signing in to the same Google account that is connected to your Google Analytics. This is going to make the verification process a trillion times easier, okay? So I am going to log into one of my accounts. And once we do that, it's going to have you kind of type in your URL. Um, you can go ahead and select an entire property type, but that's going to require DNS verification. So that basically means that you're going to have to log into wherever your domain is hosted and add a TXT file. Okay, so if that sounds like super overwhelming and you're like, nah, I'm definitely going to need another option here, we can always do the URL prefix, okay? It's important that you put in the URL that your website is, okay? So you're going to be like, wait, what are you talking about? So there's different prefixes. So like you can see in this example, there's HTTPS www dot your domain name there's also http www and then there's https without the ww okay and then http with the www so there's actually four different kinds of your domain name i know it's it's super annoying but yeah so we're gonna want to type in like the actual um domain name that your website is. So for this one, I think this website is non-WW. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to open this up, copy it, paste this right in here. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click continue. It's going to check your verification. Okay. So if you already have your Google Analytics set up with this Google email, it's going to verify it automatically, okay? If you don't, you're going to need to do another verification method, which could be like clicking your domain provider, let's say GoDaddy, for example. And then you're going to have to sign into that, follow the steps, make sure that you own it. It's It can be a headache. So just make sure that you're logging into the same Google Analytics thing. And it's also going to be important for when we connect this Google Search Console account with your Google Analytics account, okay? So once you go ahead and do that, you're gonna go ahead and go to property, and then you're gonna see a screen like this. Best practice is to add all of those URL prefixes. Do you have to do that right now? No, but I do wanna let you know that it is best to now go in and be like, okay, let's go ahead and add the www version. So it's gonna verify it, go to property, Okay, so you're going to want to add all four versions. So the HTTP non www and then the HTTP www version. Okay, it's super easy once you get started though, but 
yeah, practices to definitely have all four of those all set up. I'm going to show you how to connect your Google Analytics account to that Google Search Console account that you set up. So what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to see some of your Google Search Console information within your Google Analytics data, which can be really helpful. So what you're going to want to do is log into your Google Analytics account. And then we're going to come over here and click behavior. Nope, just kidding. We're clicking acquisition. And then we're going to click Search Console. And then you're going to click Landing Pages. And you're going to see that this report requires Search Console integration to be enabled. OK, so we're going to go ahead and click this Setup Search Console button. And then we're going to scroll down and click Adjust Search Console. So you'll see that there is no um, linking being done here. So we're going to go ahead and click Add. That's going to open up the other like it's going to open up your search console account that's connected to your google email address that you're signed up with so we're going to go ahead and click the website property so when you're linking these website properties if you went ahead and added all four of those options the http https and then the www non-www Holy crap, that's a mouthful. Um, you're going to want to connect the version that is set to default on your website. Okay, so like mine, for example, is HTTPS www. But on my other website that I run, Create It Collective, it's my default one is the non www. So whichever one is defaulted in this URL browser is the one that you're going to want to connect with this Search Console account, okay? So then we're gonna go ahead and click Save. So it says you're about to save a new association. So yes, we absolutely want to save a new association. Yeah, so then it automatically kicks you over to Google Search Console, which is kind of a pain in the butt. So we actually have to go back to the tab where we had Google Analytics open, refresh the page, and then you'll see that it actually shows the website now. So it's going to, yeah, all of this is fine. And then just click save. So now we have your Google Search Console and your Google Analytics set up and integrated together. And that's it for today's tutorial. So if you'd like more help DIYing your SEO, I have an online course that runs you through all of the important things so that you can get your website on Google's good side. You can see all of the details over at Mariah Magazine slash Easy SEO, but I'll also post a link to that in the video description below. And if you prefer a more one-on-one -on -one SEO consulting, I totally offer Power Hour sessions to help you get more results from your website and to help you make more money. So if you found this video helpful, make sure that you give it a super quick thumbs up for me and then take a second to comment below and let me know how it went. And if you're not a subscriber yet, make sure that you hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss out on all of the DIY website tech and SEO tutorials I have coming your way.